What's going on YouTube? Gene here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're having back onto the Rank Double Ladder with this Mimikyu Angie slash team. So if you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time. All you gotta do is scroll down a little bit and bing bing, two little clicks, and that's it. And you're supporting the channel. So guys, on this team right here, we have Toad Kiss rocking out in the front spot with Dazzling Gleam and Heat Wave. No Air Slash, which is a little weird. And Protect and Follow Me. You don't really see Protects on them too, too much, but this one does have Protect. Then we have Big Boy Dragapult. Clear Body with that weakness policy with a bunch of different moves to help him while he's Dynamax. We have Dragon Darts and Phantom Force. Or stab, we got Dragon Dance to set up, and it can act as a max guard as we Dynamax and fly to boost our speed, turn to a max airstream. Then we got our two big attackers who can set up with that Rotom for special attacking and our Mimikyu for physical attacking. Rotom over here has Hydro Pump for stab, Thunderbolt for stab, Nasty Pot to set up and protect. Mimikyu has that Play Rough, Phantom Force, Shadow Sneak, all stab moves, and Sword Stance to set up. Then we have this Focus Sash Angie Slash up here without King Shield, which kind of threw me off a little bit. I was wondering, I was like, where is its King Shield at? But it's holding Focus. Sash, no King Shield, has Shadow Claw, Iron Head, Close Combat, and Shadow Sneak. And then in the final spot, we got the boy who's been all over the meta, Incineroar right here. This thing's holding Safety Goggles, which kind of threw me off a little bit, usually they're holding like a Guav or Figgy Berries, but this one has Safety Goggles to actually help it out in Sandstorms and Hails and all that. It has Intimidate, with Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, and Taunt. And Taunt is going to be a pretty cool move, as we can taunt like Tailwind users and all that good stuff. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. This is actually my first time using this team, so Oh, I'm hyped for it, and I hope you guys do enjoy the video. But guys, without further ado, let's hop on to the ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Rolling into battle number one, this guy has a Trick Room team with that G-Max Lapras, kind of scare, maybe a Belly Jump SQ, and that Purloin as well, and Duraludon. Everyone knows he's a beast. So I don't even think Incineroar is a good call for this, because most of these guys are special attackers. So I think we're going to start with that Togekiss. Maybe set up a follow me and maybe set up with our either our Rotom or, or our Mimikyu. I'm thinking our Rotom's gonna get the setup right off the bat. Or we can bring in our Dragapult and wait for that. Alright, let's go. Let's go Togekiss into Rotom here. Actually, or do I go someone else? I could go somebody else. Or I could start boosting our speed, but they could be Trick Room users. And then let's go Mimikyu and Dragapult in the back end. And then I feel like we're chilling. I feel like we're looking pretty good after that. But guys, you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Link in the description below, Gene25 on Twitch. If you haven't followed me over there, what are you doing? We stream four plus days every single week on normally. But like this week, since like Animal Crossing is out and all that, I've been pumping out the contact work content we've been streaming like six seven days in a row it has been insane so i hope you guys do check it out and come hang out over there especially since like pokemon content is kind of dying down on the channel it's not dying down like it's still gonna be here but it's just not as much considering we got two new games on the field if you want to catch some more pokemon content head over there you guys know the deal we do this and animal crossing over there. let's go psychic search pops and dang it yo he does go with the uh he does go with the duraludon which is a uh, little little annoying little annoying uh, I have the Babiri Berry, so I could definitely go into a follow me this turn. And then I could definitely set up a nasty pot here. And then I could potentially swap out and Dynamax after that. We'll see. So here comes a follow me. Are we going to see a double follow me? I think he's going to predict me going into a follow me and not even go for it. Okay, he does. That's wonderful. I'll take up this nasty pot, and that Duraludon's going to have to come after me. Let's see what that Duraludon's actually going to do. So we get a free plot, which is pretty lovely. If our Duraludon doesn't trigger our Babiri Berry, oh, does it miss? Oh no, our Babiri Berry popped out. Okay, never mind. So he does go, he's going to trigger our Babiri Berry. I was going to say, if he triggers, if he doesn't trigger our Babiri Berry, then I'm just going to, uh, what's it called? Go for another follow me and plot up again. But he gets a crit as well. It drops your special defense. So probably a nice little swap out here. Coming. Let's go here. Or I could protect. Let's protect. Let's protect and eat up a turn. Not even going to lie. And I could go into a geyser over on the Indeedee. How's, how's T-Bolt work? Okay, T-Bolt doesn't work too, too well. But we can definitely go for a Max Geyser over on this Indeedee and protect our Tokus. Because probably another Flash Cannon's coming into it, or he's going to Dynamax and go into a Steel Spike. Doesn't really matter for me. I should be able to eat it up either way, and then potentially swap out, pivot, put another Pokemon in there, and then get rolling from there. Because I would like to have my Tokus for later usage as another Follow Me at the end of the game. Could really help us out. But we have this Rotom plus two on the Special Attack board, and we are going to Dynamax. Hopefully he doesn't Dynamax as well. Is this geyser? I don't think the geyser is going to actually take out this, uh, this, what's called this Indeedee. Actually, that's tough. I hope it does. Maybe I should have doubled into it as we, as we are faster and just let the toe kiss go down. Let's see, but we're going to get the rain set up. Maybe I should have waited a little bit. We'll see what happens here. Helping hand's going to come out from here. Hopefully, is he going into my Rotom? That could be nice. Go, please go into my, uh, 
Tokus. Please go into my Tokus. Please, we have the Protect set up. Let's see. Go into my Tokus, buddy. Here comes the Geyser. That could be a full wasted turn and a big max Geyser for us to set up the rain. We're going to do some damage on Sindidi. Oh, we do not pick up the KO. That is whack. That is honestly whack. So close. And then our berry pops. Okay. The berry does pop out here. Hmm. How should I roll off with this? The Citrus Perry Flash Cannon is going to get blocked. It is going to get blocked. That is huge. That is huge. We could waste another turn, but I think... Actually, we should be able to outspeed. Maybe I can take out the Ndidi here. With this Stab Gleam. Let's go for it. And I'm going to drop a Geyser over on the, the, the Rallad on side. I'm going to leave my Tokus in here. Just have it chill out for a little bit. But now he's going to Dynamax. Okay, that's rather scary. And he's definitely going to Steel Spike into my Tokus. I'm fine with it. I'm definitely fine with it. I think we should be able to outspeed. But maybe we can take out the Ndidi here, which could be huge. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping the Gleam takes out the Ndidi, but I'm thinking it might not. I'm honestly thinking it might not. But we're going for it. We're going for it. He's going to start wasting his Dynamax turns as well. And then I have my Dragapult and my Mimikyu in the back end. So not bad. I think we played this game actually very, very well, to be honest. I just think we, uh... I just think we Dynamax a little off. I feel like we should have waited on our Dynamax, considering he has two Pokemon that can yield shots from us. Look at that. Not bad damage going out on that throughout line. If I can get that thing out the way... He's definitely going to max guard next turn. He's going to steal spike. You outspeed my uh, Tokus? I didn't see that happen, but that's cool. That's fine. Okay, right, so what do I see him actually doing? What do I see him actually doing? I can see him potentially guarding. Like, he's not going to he's not gonna survive another geyser. So do I add the pressure onto him and then just bring out the pull? Hmm. I could bring out the pull, and I could Dragon Dance up, to be honest. <laughs> do I even try? Do I even try? No, to be honest, I think I just go after this Ndidi. And I take out the Ndidi. And then I geyser and keep the pressure on the, the Raladon. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that. Let's see. Um, we could Phantom Force. Just, just in case he goes after me, I could just... It doesn't have any effect. I think Dragon Darts is a play. Dragon Darts. And then I think I'm going to keep the pressure over on this Raladon. Because if this connects, he's dead. But I seriously think he's guarding up, to be honest with you. I think he's going to guard up. That's why I, I wanted to go for a D-Dance. But, like... If I didn't, there's a potential of him just dumping on me. I honestly should have went for it. Because if he if he's going after me, my, my Rotom just takes it out. Let's see. He's going to Helping Hand. That's totally fine by me. I knew I should have Dragon Dance. I knew I 100% should have Dragon Dance. But Dragon Dance is going to pop out here. Can we take out the Ndidi with this? I would love to. Take it out, please. No, we do not. The other one goes into the Duraldon. That's totally fine. But the Duraldon's going to go down here. So no more Dynamax for him. No more Dynamax for me. I'm cool with it. And now I'm plus two on the special attack board as well. Well, I've been plus two on special attack board. I'm chilling with it. I'm chilling with it. And then I have my fast, speedy Dragon Pool. And I have my Mimikyu with this guy. So this game's looking pretty good for us. And all he has is that Ndidi. Uh, and, well, Ndidi's kind of dead. All he has is that Ndidi as like a support mon. But we, haven't, we actually haven't seen his other two mons. So I'm kind of curious. He doesn't have a Dynamax. I got the boys. My sp speed's basically on my side. I kind of have the speed advantage. Surprised he didn't roll Trick Room. He's going to go into the Live Part now. Live Part's going to pop. I feel like, uh... Hmm, how should I do this? I could I could drop into a Phantom Force over on the Live Part. But I feel like he might copycat my Dragon Darts or something like that. So I'm definitely going to... Phantom Force is not very effective. Blah! I could fly. I'm going to fly. I'm going to get out of here. I'm just going to drop a nice little T-Bolt over on the NDD and finish that off. Yeah, let's fly over here. Indeed, he's going to go for a follow me. Ooh, actually, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I don't know if the, if I take it out with the Rotom. Yeah, if I take this thing out with the Rotom. Can I, uh, will that come after me? He's going to go for a foul fight. Oh, and it comes over on me. That's actually fine. We're special attacking. I'm cool with it. Thunderbolt comes through. See you later, Indeed. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Okay, so it's Live Part. Live Part is not that big of a threat to me. I mean, more so towards the, uh, the Dragapult with the foul play. But it's not really a big threat to uh, do anything special. So I think we're fine. And then he has Spacey, whoever Spacey is. And it is the SQ. Okay, so we're going to have to Hydro Pump up on that. Because it has that ice head. I'm going to actually send the Hydro Pump that way. And then we're just going to get rolling from there. Hopefully that follow me doesn't go towards the SQ. I hopefully it still goes towards the live part now that that turns over. But we'll see what it does. I never really had a situation like this where I was up in the air or underground or something. But here it comes. Fly pops out. Let's go after Live Part. Oh, dude. Fly looks so dope. Looks so dope. Foul play's coming through onto my Pult. Pult's gone. Okay. That's fine. 
Hopefully, my boy outspeeds. If my boy outspeeds, he should be able to take out this SQ turn one. Let's see what happens here. Hydro Pump, does he connect? He does connect. It should go through the Ice Head because it's a special attack and move. And we could potentially take out unless it's Sash. And it is not Sash. There we go. Take it out. And that's going to be game. That is going to be game. We have my Mimikyu with that disguise. So we're chilling. We're looking pretty nice setup for me early on. Nice setup for the uh, the Nancy plot early on. And we can just get rolling from there. But like I said, I think I played this game very, very well. It was just, I think I should have waited like a turn or two. Or swapped out something and then Dynamax. Because the matchup wasn't too too good with the Dynamax. But there's no need for me to even uh, go into a... Uh, Go into a sword stance or anything. We're just gonna attack this thing because we have the skies. A, a play rough should be able to take it out. Or maybe this uh plus two special attack. Evil. He's just gonna encore. Let this game take its course. We're gonna take him out and take match one. Let's get it, guys. Wanna know with this team? I'm really liking it to be honest. I'm really liking how I always like Pokemon that can set up like Nasty Plot or Sword Dance, all that good stuff. So my boy Rotom is coming in with us again. He kind of does some work here against that Rhyperior, the Primarina, the Colossal. Okay, we're fine with that. And then who should I, else should I bring with the team? If he runs Trick Room, I'm kind of going to need that follow me Pokemon. I'm definitely going to be bringing Incineroar. I'm definitely, I'm probably going to lead Incineroar as he has a lot of physical attackers. So Incineroar gets the lead. I don't really want follow me. I could definitely parting out later. I don't want follow me for the start or Togekiss for the start. I kind of want an attacker. So it's either, do I lead the Rotom? Because he's probably going to go Dust Cops maybe... Colossal. I can see Dust Cops Colossal, or I can see Dust Cops um, Free Marina. Oh, should I go Rotom? I might just go Rotom here. Get Rotom out here, pose a threat, go Tokus in the back end, and then in the final spot, either we go Angie Slash? I don't really want Angie Slash here. I really don't want Angie Slash here. I kind of want either Pult or Mimikyu. Who am I going to go with? Let's go, uh, let's go Pult. No, let's go Mimikyu. Now let's go Angie Slash, because if he rolls Trick Room, we're probably on the slower side. We are going to go Angie Slash. Oh my god, I second, I just they triple guessed myself. I was just like, okay, do we go to Pult? No, we're going Mimikyu. No, back to Pult. You know what, let's go Angie Slash. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's go. We're 1-0 with this team. Played that last one pretty solid. But like I was saying at the end of that uh, last battle, I really do like Pokemon that can set up like with Dragon Dance, Sword Dance, or like Nancy Watts. I always love playing teams like that. But he goes Gallade into Pult. Which is not bad. Two potential physical attackers. I mean, Glade's going to be that physical attacker. And, um, Incineroar is probably a, uh, it could be a physical, but it could be a uh, special. It can go either way. Does he have clear body? It does have clear body. Okay, um, I could parting shot. I'm definitely going to fake out here before I do this. And I'm going to go on this Glade. Hopefully that Glade doesn't Dynamax. And do I just protect here or do I drop a T-Bolt over onto the Glade and double into it? Let's do it. We're going to double into this Glade. I doubt it has Protect. Let's see what happens here. He's going to Dynamax. Probably the Pult. This is why I went after the Glade. I mean, if he go, he, he should... If he wants to be smart, he would go Glade. Because knowing that Fake Out cannot hit it. And he is smart. <laughs> this dude's a genius. But, okay, he's minus one. So, like, it's not bad. I can see him dropping maybe a Max Knuckle. Trying to get his attack back up. But then I can Parting Shot next turn. But Fake Out's not going to do too, too much here. He's going to do a little bit of damage to him. I'm cool with it. And he's going to go for a beat up. Oh, it's beat up, Broly. It is beat up, boy. Okay, and he's justified. A little scary. Um, okay. I'm going to have to roll in here with my... Maybe I should have brought my pole. Just have that speed advantage and roll out after him. But I think Mimikyu is going to be the call later on. <laughs> the Dynamax to take this thing out. Because he's going to come after my uh, Rotom here, I think. I think he's going to come after my Rotom. Let's see what happens. Dude, he's getting all the boosts in the world. What is he, plus three now? Should be plus four, or is he plus two? We had a minus one on the board. Hit four times, so he's plus three. He ball's gonna pop here. We do, do a good match. Should we paralyze, maybe? Nope, he has a berry. What berry is that? What berry is that? This oh, it's a... Wow. This guy has, like, the total counter for my team. What is this? What is this game? This guy's just, like, ready for this. Jeez. He gets a sandstorm. Safety goggles coming in clutch. They coming in clutch here. Okay. Um, do I D-Max? I think I bring in the boy and potentially D-Max. The Mimis. No, I don't have the Mimis. Hey, Jesus, man. Okay, uh. I could Dynamax this thing, to be honest. And parting shot out. This is, this is gonna be, have to be my call. It's gonna have to be my call. I'm gonna have to Dynamax the Angie Slash. Which is always a little rough when Angie Slash coming in here. But we're gonna have to Dynamax the Angie Slash. Can't get hit by the sandstorm. We're gonna have to, uh. And we're gonna have to parting shot out on the Glee. I could just go for a Phantasm. 
super effective on both. I'm gonna go after a skill aid here. As I can see that Dragapult either going for another beat up or a, or a, a Phantom Force to go away. Let's just see what he does. Let's just see what he does. Come on, what you want, Glade? Glade's such a cool Pokemon. I'm surprised people don't use it more and more on the ladder. Like, such a cool Pokemon with Justified as well, so it can definitely work out well. Bam, 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 bam. Here comes my Dynamax. We're bringing out the owner of Sword and Shield. This guy is the Pokemon for it. He should have been the Box Art Pokemon. Sword and Shield. This guy has both of them. Let's get it. Let's go, Angie Slash. Look at this dude. I think Angie Slash is such a cool Pokemon as well. I love him so much. Maybe I should have Sword Stance, but... Or maybe, yeah. If I had King Shield, I could have Protect, then... No, do I have Sword Stance on him? I don't even think I do. I my Ally Switch comes out. Okay, that's fine. Phantasm is going to dump on you. And then the Pardon Shot still going to... Actually, who goes first? Darkness is going to pop here. That actually might take me out. I'm scared. Oh, we survived, though. We survived, though. Let's get it. We get that survive. All right, Special Defense is dropping. Well, that's rough news. Dance change is coming out here. What you want? We won't get hit by this buffet either because we're steel. And we're going to be able to take out the Dragapult to say bye-bye. Do it, and the party shot's going to roll after this onto the Glade. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Get him going. Get him going. All right, Pult gone. Um, Glade's still scary. We're going to drop special defense, and then we're party shot out, and then I could go for follow me and dump on it. Could do that. Could do that. Oh, game's not over yet, sir. Game is not over yet. And then we'll have this incident we're in the back to drop another Intimidate. So if I can get rid of one more with my Dynamax Pokemon, potentially this, uh, this, what's it called, this Gallade, we'll be sitting pretty. We will be sitting pretty. Um, I think he's going to take, I think he's going to, it was dirty here. I think he's, I think he's going to take it out our uh, Togekiss. I mean, hopefully, like, we can just eat up a Togekiss shot. He has Rock Fall. Oh my, yo. Do I, do I read that and not even go for a follow me and just go straight into a protect? He has rock fall and we know that. Do I read that and just go into a straight rock fall or a protect? Because he's going to double me turn one. So I ca I have to protect. I have to protect. No follow me action. Phantasm's going to have to pop and take out this going. Come on. Show me I made a beautiful call to bring me back in this game. Let's see it, guys. Let's see it. But I think he's going to rock fall, thinking uh, I might be a beery buried or going for a follow me. We protect. We protect, baby. And he's going to go for that rock fall. He does go for that rock fall. Don't be on my Rotom, please. Please be on my Tokus. Okay, it's on my Tokus, and my Tokus is able to eat because of that. Go ahead, Angie Slash. Outspeed that Primarina. Yes! Let's go! Great call by me. Get the Glade out the way. And then probably my... Uh, my... Angus Slash is going to go down here, unless this thing misses, and we're able to drop its defense, and we have a physical attacker instant or coming in here. So, yo, back in the game, great call by me to go into that protect. I was going to go straight for that follow me, but then the rock would just took me out. The hyper voice comes in here. Who's dodging it? Oh, no, protect. Come on, dodge it, Angus Slash. Oh, no, Angus Slash go on here. All right, that's fine. That is totally fine by me. Um, how should I roll off from here? How should I roll off from here? Okay. Close match. Close match. You made a great call there with that protect. I'm thinking I should have brought in somebody else instead of Angus Slash. Like, Mimikyu probably would have been the better call, but we're chilling. Really depends who his next Pokemon is. Hopefully, this Intimidate can do some work on it. I do have Fake Out as well. So, I could just go for Fake Out and not go for Follow Me this turn. It is Clops. It is Clops. Um, I got to Fake Out the Primarina for sure. I mean, Primarina could go for Protect. But, Intimidate pops here. I do have the Taunt. I mean, if you want to set up Trick Room, that's totally fine. But I'm definitely going to be Faking out this uh, Primarina. If I can force a protect, that's totally fine by me. We have safety goggles as well. Um, could go for heat wave. No, I'm just gonna go for this. We're gonna go here, and then we're just gonna drop this nice little fake out on this Primarina. Primarina is probably gonna protect, but I gotta, but I gotta force the a chance for a fake out if it doesn't. Yeah, see, there goes the protect. That's totally fine by me. And I can see maybe a nightshade popping out on this uh, Clops. Oh, I should just went into uh, should just went after that Clops made the big read. I should have just made the big green. Just went after that thing. Okay, he's probably gonna set up Trick Room, which is tough. He is that hunk of junk! A little biscuit! Okay. Uh, I could go follow me. What should I really do here? The buffets are popping. I could protect again. Or I could go for a follow me. Ooh! Scary, scary, scary stuff. Oh, it's coming down. It is coming down, baby. Um, follow me, protect. I think Gleam's gonna pop. Or no, I might have to go for a follow me. We don't even have like a dark moon, which sucks. Good parting shot, it could taunt, could flare blitz. Ugh. 
I think I'm gonna have to go for a follow me here. I think I'm gonna drop follow me. And I'm gonna start uh taking this thing special attack down. I gotta start taking the special attack down, right? Not looking good for Gene, Joe. It's coming down. It's coming down to the close match here. Come on, baby. What you want? What you want? Nightshade's coming out here. Probably goes down. My my Tokus might go down here to the Hydro Pump. Or hi oh, Hyper Boost. You smart little biscuit. You smart little biscuit. And that's going to be the game. That is going to be the game. He gets a crit on me. What you mean? Get him out of here. But yo, GG. I thought we were coming back after that Protect. But I think I we lost this game from the beginning. I think we lost this game from the beginning. From my choice of Pokemon, I think if I would have brought either the Pult or the Mimikyu, maybe instead of the Angus Slash, we would have been chilling. I think that should have been the call. Probably Dragapult. That one's on me. That one's on me. I'm going to run and save my little kitten over here. I don't want my kitty cat dying here. But yo, GG, we are 1-1 one one with this team now. So we're going to be hopping into our third and final battle and trying to go 2-1, get a winning record with this team. But yeah, I definitely lost this match from the beginning. I shouldn't have uh, kept second-guessing myself with the Pokemon choice. I knew I should have went into Pult turn one. Let's go, guys. Hopping into battle number three. This guy is Angie Slash. Maybe a Trick Room re Reuniclus. Uh, he has the Drake Result. He has the Intimidate. Incineroar to the Crawdon, which I'm pretty scared of. And maybe that Decorate a Creamy as well. But a lot of physical attackers. So, Incineroar, yo, you coming in here. He's coming in here. And then I kind of want to go maybe... Rotom could be a solid lead, not even going to lie. For that Crawdon and that Incineroar. Oh, let's get it. Let's get him in there. We're going to go here. La, la, la. Let's go Angie Slash as well. And then get a big physical attacker either with Dragapult and a Mimikyu. Draggy or Mimikyu? I think Dragapult. We're going to take the whole speed side of this game and get rolling from there. But, yo, if you guys are hanging out with me here in the third and final battle, give me a little bit of hashtag. Hmm, what should we do? Hashtag Angie slash squad in the comment section down below. Let's me know who watches the videos all the way through and who sticks around. But let's get it. I'm hoping to get a winning record here. We're chilling. We played that first match very, very well. Second match, like I said, we lost that one because of uh, the Pokemon choice. We should have had that one if we had Pult in there instead of Angie Slash. But now we're hopping into the final battle. Hopefully, we can win this one. I'm thinking we can. I'm thinking we have a good uh, good selection of Pokemon here. I think we can roll out. So who's he going to go? Alcremate and Reuniclus. Potentially set up a Trick Room or maybe Dynamax and then just go into a Decorate, which is kind of scary. But this is really going to do nothing. I could Taunt. I could Taunt, so no Decorates. I could definitely taunt, but no decorates can come out. I think that is exactly what we're doing. Can taunt even affect that? Can it? This is fair. I think it can, yeah, for sure. Okay. Then I could plot. Or I could protect. Because this thing's probably going to Dynamax. Like, probably going to Dynamax. I'm going to plot. I'm going to plot, and I think he's going to I think he's gonna Dynamax to Reuniclus, and then he's going to go after my Incineroar and go for a decorate. So if I can get this taunt off on it, I should have just went for a fake out. That probably would have been easier. I'm kind of dumb, but still. <laughs> I should have just faked out the Algrimmy all day. But yeah, here comes the Dynamax from the Reuniclus. Why didn't I fake out the Algrimmy, guys? Oh my lord. Hopefully this taunt at least comes up faster. Oh no, he's... Okay, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. G-Max Algrimmy coming out here. We're not even faking it out. We'll taunt that thing. But that's a little scary. <laughs> Big boy's gonna probably, probably take me out. He's probably gonna take out my Incineroar. We're going to plot up here. And he's probably going to set up maybe Trick Room. Okay. A little tough news here. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, it has Aroma Veil. Oh, my Lord. G-Max Finale coming in here. What does that do? Oh, my Lord. It's a bunch of cake. We eat that, we eat that up no problem, though. We eat that up no problem, though. But what does that do? What does that G-Max move do? Let's see. I, I got to see what that actually did. Did that do anything? I have no idea. Did that do anything to, like, you? What does that G-Max move do? I seriously have no idea. Um, I could party shot out. I mean, who went... How the turns go? Uh, okay, we're just gonna swap out here. I can see him definitely taking me out. Oh, dude. I think we got Saiyan and parting shot on somebody. Big parting shot on this out, Kermit. And I plot it up, so we're chilling. I'm gonna come in with that geyser. I'm coming in hot with that geyser. We're going after this out, Kermit, here. I'm coming in hot, baby. Yo, I love how G-Max Alcremie looks. It's a big wedding cake with all of its uh, Alcremie designs on it. You got, like, the clovers, the berries, the blueberries, strawberries, blah, 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 blah. It's just a giant cake with everything on it. But, yo, get my boy rolling again. I really do like Rotom Wash on the scene with the Nasty Plot. Oh, I love it. I love it. I also love uh, Togekiss when it has Nasty Plot on it. I'm a big fan of that. I always like setting up with Weakness Policy, Heat Wave, Air Slash, and the other one. Oh, who avoided that? My boy, avoiding that. Then Overgrowth's gonna come out here. Yo, that's an easy eat up. That's an easy snack. That's an easy snack, dude. 
the tasty one too, and we have our citrus berry in a little bit. And then the parting shot comes out here, and we can say, yo, Alkermit, get out my face. This one's looking good. This one's looking good. Parting shot. <laughs> we just give it a big eat. Minus that thing, special attack. And then we can swap into the Angie Slash. We'll get the Angie Slash rolling here. But I kind of want to waste out the Trick Room before I get my big Pult, my big fast Dragon Pult out there to do some work. Let's see, Angie Slash gets the Pop Skis. And then this guy's just going to fly through. Plus two guys are not bad at all. Meow. Meow. Not bad damage. Once this range set up, we should be able to KO with this next uh, geyser. So I'm going to put another threat into that. And then I'm going to roll out. Oh, I could double into it. Actually, I don't know. The overgrowth is kind of scaring me. I'm thinking we can. I'm thinking we can. We have Iron Head. We have all this Shadow Claw. This Stab as well. Which one should we go for? It might actually be slower than this Reuniclus. I'm going to go. No, 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 no. we got to go Shadow Claw. I thought maybe Iron Head was super effective. And then I'm going to go into Geyser over on the Alchemy. What you want? What you want? Let's see. Who's going first here? Reno Clisk is going to throw a Shadow Ball. We are Sash, so that's wonderful. We will eat that up. Oh, we, we didn't even use our Sash. That's chilling. And then the G Max finale is going to pop out here. Who are you going after? Okay, you're going after that. And we're going to eat that up. And then our Citrus Berry is going to trigger. What does that move do? I am so confused with what that move does. Oh, it heals up. Okay. That's what it does. I was so confused on what it actually did. I was like, what is this thing doing? Because he had full health last time. So, that, so that's good to know. It's kind of like a giant Giga Drain, I'm guessing. Sand Change comes out. We could potentially KO with this uh, Shadow Claw. Uh, yeah, yeah. Coming in hot. Big damage. Oh, we do not pick up the KO. But Shadow Sneak will pick up the KO next turn. So I'm cool with it. And this should be able to do a little bit more damage, but I don't think it's going to pick up the KO with that GMAX finale. Yeah, see? Oh my god, if he didn't restore HP, we would have had that KO. But, hmm. He could potentially guard, but definitely Shadow Sneak into the, the Reuniclus, take that out, and then move on from there. I mean, Alcrimin could go for a Dazzling Gleam, but still. I want that, uh, I want that Reuniclus out the way. So Shadow Sneak into Reuniclus, and then just go into a, uh, I'm going to set this uh, electric terrain. I'm going to set this electric terrain on the Alkerme. Come on, go into a protect Alkerme. Do something. Somebody go into a protect. Actually, no. We want Alkerme to go into a protect, to be honest with you. <laughs> this Reuniclus is going to die once my Shadow Sneak pops. Like, this is going. This is actually a really close battle here. But Shadow Sneak comes in here. I don't think anyone's going to go down unless he goes after my... Uh, I mean, Dazzling Gleam could potentially take out my boy. My Angie Poo. Let's see what happens here. He's going to go for a Giga Drain. Okay, we eat that one up. We eat that up all day. And we can say bye to the Alcreme and have this set up as well. That's fine. We, we should be able to do enough damage. But the only thing that, that I'm worried about is how many turns is left in the Stricken. Is it one? It might be one. I'm thinking it's one. If it's one, I can protect my Rotom. And then my Pult's going to be fine when it comes in here later. And we still have our Incineroar in the back end. Or an Intimidate. Okay, okay. Yo, dude, the boy Rotom's MVP. He is MVP for this video. The GOAT. Rotom right here, dude. My boy. But Dracosuit's gonna come out here. Um, is he gonna be faster? I mean, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. And another Angie Slash. Do I just Shadow Sneak into that one? Do I Shadow Sneak into that Angie Slash? Yeah, I have the pull. Pull's gonna definitely outspeed everything, except for a Shadow Sneak, which is scary. So maybe I just have to take out that Angie Slash here. Let me go into a Shadow Sneak. I'm gonna Shadow Sneak that. And then I think I protect. I think I do protect here. Let's see what happens here. Let's see. Hopefully our Shadow Sneak goes first. It's going to be slower, Shadow Sneak. I just wanted to kind of get, get a feel of how these turns are going to be going. Hmm. But once this ends, I should be fine. Let's go. Protect. I'm just worried about a Shadow Sneak maybe taking out my Dragapult. That's what I'm really worried about. The Shadow Sneak's gonna come out here. Do a little bit of damage to this Angie Slash before we roll out there. Not bad, not bad at all. Is it policy? It is, yo. You're kidding me. So a Shadow Sneak could definitely take it out. Could definitely take him, him out. We're gonna say, oh, go after my Rotom, please. Go after my Rotom, please. Shadow Ball. Yes, yo, let's go. And hopefully this thing misses. Bolt Beak. Oh, he doubled into me. He doubled into me. Let's get it. We should be able to potentially take that thing out unless he goes... Actually, I'm going to read the King Shield. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to... We're not even going to read the King Shield. Oh, yo, yo. You know what? We outspeed. If he King Shield, I'll take him out. But Shadow Claw should be able to come in here and do some work on this ult. I'm going to Hydro Pump over on this side. 
Let's see. Yeah, I knew he was King Shield. I knew I should have doubled into that thing. I knew I should have doubled into the Zolt. Hands down. I knew I should have. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. We knew he was King Shield. That was a dumb call by me. Both Beaks going to fly through. Maybe take him out my Angie Slash. Please don't take him out. Oh, man. Oh. Tough news. Okay. Like I said, I'm really worried about that that coming into me. I'm worried about the Shadow Sneak coming into my pole. I mean, I'm definitely going to go Incineroar right here. We're definitely going Incineroar. To start dropping this, uh, both these physical attack shots. And I get a free fake out. I get a fake out on whoever I want. So he cannot King Shield again. I, I, I'm i thinking of faking out the... Yeah, I got to fake out the, what's it called? The Angie Slash. No, it has no effect. So definitely Draco's ult. He can't go. And then, uh, do I plot up again? <laughs> no, let's just send a Hydro Pump Angie Slash away. Let's just send a Hydro Pump Angie Slash away. So Draco's ult does get the fake out or he's going to protect. It doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. But all I need is this Angie Slash out of the way and we got this match in the bag. The Angie Slash is posing such a big threat, especially since it has that weakness policy. Fake out's going to pop. Okay. Mwah! Get a little bit of clapsies. Dude, get out of my face. And they're both minus one. Like, it's looking pretty solid for us. Can Hydro Pump pick up the KO as we're plus two? Dude, show him. Doom Dirty. Doom Dirty. Let's go, dude. That's GG. Good game, my dude. Two and one with the scene, yo. MVP is that Rotom right there. Hands down. We got this match in the bag. We got it in the bag. I can say it because it doesn't really matter. I'll just parting shot this thing. And then I'm going to just actually. No, we got we to gotta send something at him. Um, let's just go. Actually, dude, nothing, none of this does anything. So we're just gonna go in that. Hopefully he quits out. I'm gonna just, I guess I'll send a Hydro Pump. I mean, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> He's gonna go for a Bulk Beak. That's not even gonna take out my Incineroar. It does. Was that a crit? That wasn't even a crit. That just did a heaping amount. Why did it do so much? Because it was minus one. But still, like I said, we have this one in the back. Considering we have our boy Dragon Ball. He's gonna be able to outspeed and do some work from there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, probably because of the Electric Terrain. That's probably why he did so, so much damage. But yeah, Pult will just be able to outspeed. Dragon Arts, pew pew! Game over. GG. 2 and 1. All day. Because this thing doesn't have a first turn priority move. Even if it does, I don't even think it's taking me out. Uh, let's go Hydro Pump in it again. Ben in and bang! Go ahead, quit. Actually, I don't want you to quit. I want these little baby. What's the first stage of Dragon Ball? I totally forget. I don't even know. I, to I honestly forget it. But these little dragons, first stage of Dragon Pults, are going to fly out and hit this dude right in the face. Can't even think of the name. You out speed me. He's got to be Scarfed. He's Scarfed. Okay, he's Scarfed. Okay. So it could have been scary, but Dragon Earth's going to fly through here. GG. He's hoping I miss. If I miss, I'm going to cry. Nope, we got him. There it, go there it goes. Boom. See you later. We only needed one. We only needed one of these darts. GG, man. That was kind of scary when he went first. I was like, wait a minute. Hold the phone. But he is Scarfed. He is Scarfed. But that's totally fine. GG, my dude. I'm actually a really big fan of this team. Probably one of my favorite teams I used in the recent meta, considering it's a little bit different, but it still has things I like, like the nasty plot, the swords and setup, all that good stuff. And it has that Incineroar to kind of implement it into the new Season 3 meta. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.